Hi everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways. And today I thought I'd show you how to make coffee out of chicory root. Now this is the chicory plant. And I'm sure you've seen it all over with those blue flowers. But uh, fall is the best time to dig up the roots. Most of these plants have died off and that's what you want. If you can dig it after a rain, even better because some of those tap roots get pretty long and they're hard to get out of the ground. So I'm going to dig some up and then I'll show you the Alrighty, rest. I dug them up and then I let them sit out oh for a few hours. You can do it overnight however you want. So just so that um, the mud dries because it's a lot easier to get uh, the mud off when it's a dry dirt than when it's you know really wet. So I'm just going to brush these off to get the, the, the main dirt off and then um, I'll be back. Okay, now that I got most of the dried mud off, I'm just gonna put them under the faucet here and scrub them a little bit more and get off any extra dirt that might be on there. Okay, now that the roots are all cleaned, first I'm just going to, you know, you can just pick these off if you want. Some of these little offshoot things here. And i got some bigger ones up in here. You can cut them off if you want. But, um, you're basically just going to cut these into little pieces. Now how small is, you know, really up to you. And by the, these are a little bit hard to cut too, so make sure you have, make sure you have a good knife. You want to cut them in a uniform size because that will make everything uh, roast more evenly. So I'm going to just do these little pieces here. And then I think I'll, I'll cut them up even further after this. Because um, once you're done cutting them here, you're going to want them to air dry. Or, you know, you don't have to air dry them. You can um, put them in a dehydrator if you want. Or maybe even, you know, your lowest setting on your oven. Because you're going to want these to dry out before you roast them. Because it just would take a super long time in your oven trying to roast them well you know first trying to get them to dry out and then roasting them evenly that's what I'm looking for here to, is to get an even roast on all of them if, if they're still wet so you want to have them dried out if at all possible so I'm going to cut these into pieces I'm going to cut them even smaller and then I'm going to let them air dry instead of putting them in the dehydrator and then I'll um, get back with you Alrighty, it's all pretty much dried out. I did cut the pieces into a little bit smaller than uh, the rounds that I had yesterday. You don't want to cut them too small because there will be shrinkage when um, they're roasted in the oven. And uh, remember that the chicory does have a flavor similar to coffee, but not so much that you would ever mistake it for real coffee. Um, a lot of people like it. They'll mix it in with their coffee grounds because of taste or just because they're, they're you know, wanting to stretch their coffee. And uh, down in the south, especially in Louisiana, they still use it a lot. And also in other parts of the world. It does have some medicinal qualities to it. And it does um, act like a slight diuretic, just like coffee. But there um, isn't any caffeine in it. So it could be a good alternative if you're trying to stay away from caffeine. Anyhow, I'm going to put this in the oven now at 300 degrees for, oh geez, it's hard to say. I want to say around an hour and a half. I'm going to check it at the hour point. You want it like a toasted color, but you don't want it black looking like um, it's burnt. But I'll get back to you when I check it the first go around. Okay, here it is at the one hour mark, and it's still not ready. You can see it's starting to shrink up, and it smells great. 
but it's still not at the point we need it to go. I'm going to keep checking it at every half hour. Okay, it's all done. It's pretty crispy here. Breaks apart fairly easy. And that was at an hour and a half. So um, you're going to want to test, you know, your own. Keep checking it, I'd say, every half an hour to find, like, the sweet spot in your, your oven. And then when you get it like that, I'm going to use this uh, mortar and pestle here. And I'm just going to, you know, crunch it up here. You can, of course, use a, um, one of those powerful blenders or a coffee grinder. Do whatever it is um, you want to do to get it ground up. Um, just be careful with the real powerful blenders or um, the grinders because sometimes it turns into powder. And I personally just uh, prefer it not to be. I use a percolator and having it ground up more like regular coffee grounds works better than... Um, the powder sometimes that clogs things up well I hope you liked the video I hope you learned a little something and you know if you're ever out camping in that you can um, do this chicory coffee if you forgot your coffee you know just chop it up put it over the flames let it dry out a little bit roast it and then you know um, get it into smaller pieces however you find a way to do it but uh, I, again, I appreciate you watching the video. I'm glad you took the time to do it. Please comment, subscribe. That would be great. It was nice talking to you, and you take care.